I'm not familiar with Pain of Truth. I like the name, though, but I'm very familiar with Madball. And so a band called Pain of Truth, I think they're an East Coast hardcore band, teamed up with, to my knowledge, Freddie Madball to make this song called You and Me. And we're going to check it out. We're going to review it. We're going to see if it's any good. Uh, yeah. How you doing today? Hope you're doing all right. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. We're growing this community rapidly, and I appreciate everybody's support. If you want to check out my Patreon, there's a link in the description. You get a free shirt. I'm in the middle of designing it right now, so be patient. Um, and obviously, you get input on the channel. All right, let's see what we got. Two minutes, 28 seconds of hardcore. Hardcore. All right, Freddie, let's show them who's still running shit in New York. Do it, man. Hold on. This sounds suspiciously familiar. Like bad ball, maybe? That's a good thing. <laughs> Dude, I remember, I'm so old that I remember when Mad Ball was just a punk band to me. Like, I didn't know there was a difference. I've got a big agnostic front tattoo on my forearm. Had no idea it was a hardcore band. To me, it was just a punk band. <laughs> oh, let's go. All right, let's start that over. That was awesome. All right, Freddie, let's show them who's still running shit in New York. Do it, man. That vinyl looks delicious. I'm just saying it looks like a piece of candy. I'm also fat. Yeah, anyways. Man Ball 2023 still holding it down. Let's go. So this is how, so so punk rock and, and hip hop have always gotten along, right? Well, hardcore is where it starts to cross over. Hardcore dudes, especially from the East Coast, have always been heavily influenced by hip hop, the culture, the style, the clothing, everything about it, right? Graffiti, all of it. And so this, to me, if I just heard this and they were like, where's this from? I'd be like, this got to be East Coast. I would say New York, Boston, Jersey, something like that. Somewhere up there, maybe Chicago, um, Chicago. And I just want to point out that this cover art is bonkers. I have a shirt that I made. It's got like a mouth opened up and some ammunition flying in, and it says, take your vitamins. I feel like this is the same kind of like ideals, man. Uh, yeah, dude, it's a good song. You want to play your game? The ball's in your court. And you'll keep it scored. It's your Lord. Let's go. Let's go. I like it. So I'm very particular with like my beat down hardcore stuff. That feels very authentic to me. So I like it. A lot of this stuff feels kind of cringy and cheesy, especially stuff like uh, I didn't really care for bands like Throwdown much. It was a little too tough guy and, and, and metalhead for me. 
instead of like you know punk rock kids that played a little heavier music and were into like hip-hop and stuff i don't know there's a difference to me uh there's like a bro culture and then there's like a like a hardcore culture and i didn't like the bro culture um that being said this song was good i like that the it has a very old school sound to me the guitar it's so crunchy that you can't really hear like the the guitar strokes it's just like uh, instead of like -na 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 -na. It's, it's i don't know if that makes any sense <laughs> but i enjoyed this a lot man that brought back some uh it was very i don't know it brought back some memories to me or it made me feel like a song from way back when uh but i thoroughly enjoyed that a lot that was amazing i'm gonna give that like a 8.3 out of 10 yeah very good way above average uh that yeah that's exactly what i want to hear from a song like that when i see that title this is what i want from it um i personally would have changed a little bit about the production and guitar tone and such but that's just me and that's why i didn't give it a 10 but it's an excellent song so yeah if that's your jam then this one ought to be one that hits on your playlist uh Dude, that was, it makes me want to go listen to Mad Ball. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you so much. Go check out uh, Pain of Truth. If you're not old like I am, go check out Mad Ball. If you haven't heard of them, they're really good. Go check out Agnostic Front, Sick of It All, whatever, man. Just go to the Chromags, whatever you're, I mean, dude, look, this is going to be a hardcore Friday. I can feel it. So yeah, have a good day, everybody. Love you guys. Like and subscribe. Go check out this band, support independent music, and have a great weekend. Peace.